Hey, welcome to Ministry Insights today, sponsored by uh, Five Minute Leadership. Glad to have you with us. We're taking on a little bit more of a, a direct approach with uh, sharing our ministry insights. Appreciate uh, you being with us. My name's Dean Renfro. I'm an author, coach, a pastor, uh, and just uh, really out here trying to help people in ministry and life uh, move forward, accomplish the things, the vision, the heart, the dream that God has given them to do. And part of how we do that is by sharing. Uh, some things that we've learned along the way. So uh, thanks for joining with us. If you've signed up to be a part of our uh, uh, video newsletter, thanks for doing that. If not, I encourage you to do that. But uh, just stay with us as we follow along today. So here's today's, here's part of what we're going to be talking about today. Where do you start? Where do you start uh, in trying to uh, be who God wants you to be, to live out uh, your life and carry out the vision, the dream, the calling perhaps that God has given you? Uh, and because God's given everybody a purpose, and we want to talk about that with you today. Where where do you start? Well, part of that starting is that that you have to learn how to lead yourself. Leadership starts with yourself. Now you can take classes, you can read a book, you can go to conferences, you can you can be elected to be the leader. But most of the time, what most people miss about leadership is it starts right here. It starts with yourself, and uh, you have to learn how to uh, lead yourself. If you, somebody has very well said, if you can't lead yourself, it's going to be hard to lead other people. It's going to be hard to lead others if you can't lead yourself. And you might be thinking for a moment, well, what does that look like? What does that mean, being able to lead yourself? Well, at first, it, it starts kind of here in this place. You have to do what's necessary. As a leader, you start with, I have to do what's necessary. All of us has necessary things in life that we have to deal with, things that we're responsible for. Learn to lead yourself in that area, and that is the area that's necessary, and that is uh, where you get started. That's how you get started. Now, that's simple to do, but simple also not to do. That's why sometimes, for many of us, it, we never get started. It's all, it's, oh, that's, that's easy. I, I, I can lead myself. And, 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 the, and then most of us have areas where we could look at right now and go, well, I'm not leading myself in this area. Maybe I'm not leading myself in some areas of discipline in my own personal life. Uh, you know, whatever that could be, whether it's, you know, whether it's uh, our time or our energy or our weight or our finances or our relationships or uh, d d community or any number of things, spiritual. It could be any number of things where we're not leading ourselves. We're letting somebody else lead us. We're looking for some kind of, uh, you know, potent uh, that we're looking for to do that for us but just not really learning to lead ourselves first and but we're trying to lead others maybe we're trying to lead others because we've been thrown into that position or we've been elected into that position which is in the five levels of leadership that uh, Maxwell John Maxwell describes the fact that that's the first that's the first stair step is that you you have a title and that makes you a leader that happens on our job it might happen in ministry might happen in our home uh, but it, it may happen in, in our community, but we've been left to be the leader because we got elected. Well, if you don't learn how to lead yourself, you won't get very far in leading others. So what are some of the necessary things? We'll talk about do what's necessary first. Do what's necessary. Well, one of those things is answer the question, know who you are. See, when you can begin to lead yourself out of who you are, you can begin to be the person uh, that, that can lead others. But oftentimes we try to lead people out of uh, uh, some figment of something that's been made up. You see, when we when we go through life, people tell us who we are, what we should do, when we should when we should be there, when we can go home, when we can do this, when we can do that, what we're supposed to know, uh, what's truth, what's not truth, and we really never know for ourselves. We never really take the steps to learn for ourselves. So many people really don't know who they are. Like, simple question: What's your personality? How are you wired? How are you made up? A lot of people will answer that with a very a top water surface. Oh, I'm a top A personality, or I'm I'm this personality, or I'm that personality, or describe themselves as some kind of animal. Those are all common, but you're more complex than that. God made you more complex than that, and you need to take some time and discover who you are. What's your personality makeup? There's an active side to your personality. There's a reactive side to your personality. Most people know your active side because they see it. You might even know what it is because you see it, but most people don't understand the reactive mode, and if you've lived life very long, you've and you're smart at all, you'll quickly discover, oh yeah, I spend most of my time reacting. What does that look like? How do you work with that? How do you know what that looks like? So, who are? What's your personality? What's your giftedness? Now, a lot of times that that comes out of 
uh, dis a lot of self-discovery. Other people tell us what it is. We're, it's for sometimes it's very obvious to what our giftedness is. Sometimes not. Sometimes there's some deep things down in our life that got that uh, really gifted. And then there on top of all that, God might give us a, a gift that might be seem kind of contrary to who we are and how we're wired. That's that's something you have to learn. So do what's necessary. Learn about who you are. Learn about how you're gifted. What are your talents and skills that you have? A lot of that stuff we go and learn. You might have decided in life to go learn something and you've got a skill, a talent. But what does that look like? What is how does that work with who you are? You know, I'm, I'm amazed by the by the people who who, who live their whole life uh, doing something that somebody else told them to do and never getting to do what they want to do, what they what they're gifted to do, what they're talented to do, what maybe even they're called to do because they spent their whole life doing what somebody else told them they should be doing. And so, what's your talents and skills, and how's that working out for you? So here's the question: How will you lead yourself in these areas? You see, because if you can do what's necessary first and start leading yourself out of, well, here's who I am as a person. Here's my personality, and this is how I best lead. See, I believe you best serve others if you if you be the best person you can be. You can best serve others when you're living out who you are and what your dream is and what your talents are and what your giftedness and what your vision, what your calling. You can best serve others by doing that, not by being somebody else. So what's your giftedness? What's your talents and skills? How are you putting all that together? So here's the question for today, or here's the kind of the comment for today, today's takeaway moment. We're gonna, I'll leave you with one thing today. If you could only take one small, specific step to do more, take it. But you gotta know what that is. And hopefully today that gave you a, a way to start thinking about, well, where do I start? Well, I start with doing what's necessary for myself. For myself to lead myself hey thanks for being with us catch back we'll talk about the second thing that you should do in leading and we'll be looking at, at not only what what do you do what's necessary but we'll look at the next step when you see us again in the next ministry insight coming to you soon by the way if you hadn't signed up to be a part of this i encourage you to do that click the link in this uh, email and go sign up and be a part of our ministry insights group we'll talk to you later have a great and blessed day